stinging, burning eyes, and feeling like you have something stuck in them. Having dry eye syndrome really sucks. This happens if your eyes aren't producing enough tears, or even just producing the wrong type of tears that evaporate really quickly. I'm going to ensure that you understand why your eyes are so dry, how to make this go away, and how to prevent this annoyance in the first place. When you blink, a film of tears spreads out over your eyes. This keeps the eye's surface smooth and clear, which is super important for good vision. But these tears aren't just drops of water. They have a few layers, like onions or ogres. An oily layer on the outside of the tear film keeps it from drying up too quickly. The watery layer in the middle cleans the eye, washing away junk that shouldn't be there. Then there's a mucus layer. I know, gross. Closest to your eye that spreads the watery layer and keeps your eye moist. Without this magical mucus, tears wouldn't stick to your eyes. That mucus or oily layer being disrupted could lead to dry eye. You might have dry eye if you're experiencing stinging and burning in your eyes, blurry vision, especially when reading, feeling like there's something stuck in your eye, or a lot of tears in your eyes. Having a lot of tears in your eyes may sound weird because of dry eye syndrome, but that's because this is your body's way of fighting against this condition. Some people even experience a thick mucus building up on their eyes and swollen eyelids. Okay, but what causes dry eye? Hormonal changes as you get older can cause this, particularly in women going through menopause. Dry eye can also be caused by activities that reduce blinking, like looking at a computer or book for too long, using contacts for a really long time without taking them out, diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, or refractive eye surgery like LASIK. Certain medications can also cause dry eye. Yikes, but what can you do about this? Definitely go to your eye doctor if you think you may have dry eye syndrome. Ophthalmologists have a lot of tests that can check for this, like one test that measures the thickness of your tears. They may decide to treat your dry eye using artificial tears. These are eye drops that are similar to your natural tears. You can get these without a prescription. If you use artificial tears more than six times a day, or you're allergic to preservatives, you should use preservative-free tears. Otherwise, tears with preservatives may start to irritate your eyes even further. The eye doctor might also suggest blocking your tear ducts. This makes your natural tears stay in your eyes for longer. Tiny silicone or gel plugs can be inserted into your tear ducts, and they can be removed later if needed. Prescription eye drop medication can also help your eyes make more of their own tears. The irritation in your eyes may also be treated using warm compresses on your eyes or massaging your eyelids. And finally, an intense pulsed light or IPL therapy can be done that reduces inflammation of the eyelids and treats dry eye syndrome. However, since there are so many different things that could cause dry eye syndrome, there's no one magic bullet that's the best solution for treating this all the time, but your eye doctor can help point you in the right directions. There are ways to prevent dry eye syndrome from happening in the first place, Adding moisture to your house or apartment with a humidifier can definitely help. And wearing sunglasses when you're outside helps prevent wind from drying out your eyes. Surprisingly, even eating foods higher in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon or flax seeds, or just taking omega-3 supplements helps prevent dry eye. And using a hair dryer a lot could lead to dry eye, so if you're susceptible to this, you may want to lay off of the hair dryer. If you have really bad dry eye syndrome, look up a dry eye specialist in your area for the best guidance. Click to watch my previous video about treating and preventing cataracts, which is the number one cause of vision loss worldwide. Thanks.